A short beginner's guide on how to pray Salah. Starting your journey of Salat to connect to your Creator with simple step-by-step -step instructions. Written by The Sincere Seeker from The Sincere Seeker Collection. Narrated by Austin Van Fleet. What are the benefits of praying Salah? The Islamic ritual prayers come with many benefits, in this world and the next, for the ones that engage in them sincerely and mindfully, with concentration and humility. Amongst the benefits of praying is that the one that prays regularly and prays the way that they are supposed to be prayed has a promise from Allah that Allah will cause them to enter paradise. Amongst the benefits of praying is that the act of praying guards and protects a believer from sins and evil doings. Recite what has been revealed to you of the book and establish the prayer. Indeed, the prayer prevents from the immorality and evil deeds, and surely the remembrance of Allah is greatest, and Allah knows what you do. Quran, chapter 29, verse 45. When one becomes lackadaisical in their worship or neglects prayer altogether, they will experience the consequences of feeling distant from God, which may cause increased instances of sinning and evil doing. As they distance themselves from prayer and the remembrance of God, they become easier targets for Satan to reach out to and tempt them. The one that guards and faithfully practices their prayers would be mindful of everything else that matters. The one that neglects their prayers would be neglectful of what matters in this life. Amongst the many benefits of prayer is the transformative power that prayer has on a person. Prayer transforms a person's attitude, behavior, mentality, thoughts, and priorities, redirecting these elements to what matters in life. Prayer softens one's heart toward Allah and His creation. Muslims steadfast in their prayer are continually looking to help others and have a genuine concern for them, not just themselves. If one does not see their prayer's benefits and positive effects, one should question their sincerity, humility, and concentration in praying. God references the fate of past generations who did not take advantage of their prayers, wasting them. But there came after them successors who neglected prayer and pursued desires, so they are going to face destruction. Quran, chapter 19, verse 59. Salah, prayer, is also connected to the fate of our Ummah, Muslim community. Prayer solves the many problems our nation is facing. If our prayer is strong, everything else in our community will be healthy.